How's it going, true gamers? In today's video, I'll be opening loot from 1,000 Guardians of the Rift rewards. I haven't opened any rewards yet, so our collection log is going to be completely empty. As you can see, by checking our total rewards claimed so far. So we can check right here, and as you can see, you have searched the rift zero times. We have 1,000 rewards saved up, and we have not opened it once yet so far. And I'm not going to... Oh, drop that. And I'm not going to include the runes crafted on the way to 1,000 rewards, since that number will be different for everybody. And before we get started on the loot, though, I will add some clips on screen of me getting the 1,000 rewards, as well as getting from level 88 to 94 rune crafting in the process. All right. There it is, 89 rune crafting. Let's go. There it is, 250 reward points. Let's go. Let's go, 90 rune crafting. There it is. Let's go, 91 rune crafting. There it is. Let's go. There it is, 500 reward points at Guardians of the Rift. Halfway there. Let's go, 92 rune crafting. There it is. There it is, 93 rune crafting, and that puts us officially six levels away from 99 rune crafting. Let's go. There it is, 750 reward points, 250 more to go. There it is, 94 rune crafting. There it is. 1,000 reward points at Guardians of the Rift. Now, we just gotta go open up our 1,000 rewards and hope we can get lucky and complete the collection log. Let's do it. Alright, now let's get into the looting and see if we can complete the collection log or not. Very first one... Atlix's Diary. That's a uh, pretty good start, I think. Oh my lord, let's go! Not even a hundred in and we get Abyssal Needle. Let's go! There it is. Catalytic Talisman. There's another one. Oh, Blue Dye! Let's go! Blue Dye! There it is, Abyssal Lantern! Let's go! Abyssal Green Die, let's go! There it is. And there it is. 1,000 rewards looted from the Guardians of the Rift. Now I just need to go get all of the loot together so we can price check it and see what we got. But first, I'm going to have to open up all of the intricate pouches I got. Alright, so first off, I'm going to price check all of the needles, ashes, talismans, and runes we managed to get. And then I'm going to open up all of the intricate pouches and show you guys all of the untradeables we managed to get as well. So, we'll go over here. Open up the price tab throw all that in so we managed to make just under 7.9 mil out of all of the runes and talismans alone what first intricate pouch lost bag there it is that's another what and there we go the third one tarnished locket there's two collection log items back to back let's go all right so we finished opening up our 43 intricate pouches now, let's price check the loot and see how much we made from those. So it looks like we made just over 1.4 mil. So if you combine that with our previous loot, we made a total of 9.3 mil profit. Not too bad. 
now let's just have a look at the collection log and see how much items we're still missing. Before we get into the collection log though, I first want to use my abyssal needle on my pouches to create our... Yes, they will. And our colossal pouch is created. There it is. Let's go. Now let's trade our apprentice. Let's see if we can't buy the full outfit real quick. There it is. We need one of those. And now let's check out the collection log and see what we're still missing. So it looks like the only thing we're still missing is the Guardian's Eye, which is going to cost us just over another 2,700 pearls. So that's going to be a bit of a grind. But aside from the Guardian's Eye, we're just missing the Abyssal Red Die and the Abyssal Protector. So 14 out of 17 total, we'll get them. Now we use our Tarnished Locket on the Lumbridge Guard and... And there it is, Amulet of the Eye, which has unlimited teleports to Guardians of the Rift. Let's go. If you guys liked the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel out a lot, and I enjoy replying to your guys' comments. Alright, peace out, guys.